okay so you cut a circular piece uh, with the diameter of about that's the diameter that's the diameter right there of about six and um, ten to eleven inches okay that's the second step you cut a circular piece of about so you can use the cover of your pot or any plate in your house when you measure the diameter that is about six and um, that is about sorry ten to eleven inches okay then you fold this way you fold this way into two and then afterwards you fold this way okay okay once you get this shape then you can cut from here yes you cut and then you cut okay so i'll show you what it feels what it looks like after i've cut it two four okay so when you fold it that way you have two layers here and then one straight layer here okay so i'd advise that you cut this length first that's the single layer cut it first so that you can have a smooth cut through this this other layer okay okay so when you have cut through this first layer where there are two folded parts you have something like this you have something like this i'm not finished cutting this one i just decided to show you before i finish cutting you have something like this and then you have another double layer like this all together this will make four pieces right so i have here i'm actually making four different pieces i'm um, sorry two different pieces so i have the first four layers here the first cut out okay if you make it take it together it will form your previous circle okay i showed you that method so that you can cut it in equal parts and afterwards we'll be making it all right so because i am um, about to start sewing i want to show you how i'm going to sew the first route i'm going to start from here and then i'll sew straight so you do the longer um, side first and then you make sure that the fabric is turned inside out so for example this side is the shiny side of this particular fabric and this other side also is the shiny side i put them face to face and then i sew on the inside so that when i'm turning it i would be having the same size okay so let me show you what i mean with another um, using an example of another type of fabric so let's assume that this is my fabric i'm going to sew it this way this is the inside of the fabric that is the place that i will be using outside of my mask when i'm covering my nose so this will be the, place, the part facing the outside so i'll use this side and this side i'll face them this way and then i'll sew it the first sewing will be across like this the first sewing will be across like this okay okay to sew it i'll go across like this and then i will be using this fabric this way so it's the same thing i have been able to achieve with these other fabrics i've placed them on top of each other and i'll be sewing the long arc first now for this particular mask um, nose mask or face mask for this particular one i'm putting an additional layer of lining and you would see why because this fabric is, a, is quite light so i'm adding a, an additional layer of lining and i'm also doing it just the way i already explained i'm putting it this way and then i'm also adding another one to the other side don't forget that we're sewing this way okay the longer arc first <clears throat> okay so now i've finished joining this edge this long edge or hack um, to each other and i've done the same for this remember i said i was going i'm going to use um another um lining layer of lining for this so i added that to the front and to the back okay so the next step now is to actually join okay what i'm doing is this this is the place i join together i'm turning it this way so you just turn it out like that smoothly right and then this 
other layer will be placed on top of it. This other layer will be placed on top of it, just like that. Remember, just like what we did the other time when we put the same angles together. So we still have this and this. So now we're going to have to join the longer this edge together. Join it together this way. So we're going to join the edges together like that. Remember I turned it and this like this and then we're going to join these edges together. From here to here from here to here from here to here we're going to leave a little space here at this edge we're not okay sorry so we're going to leave a little space here at this edge join it just up to here okay so that when we want to turn it inside out there will be a little space to turn it inside out here okay so we're just going to join it from here to here from here to here we'll leave a little space we we'll join it from here to here, from here to here. Okay. All right, so I have finished um, joining the sides from here. I don't know if you can, okay. So I finished joining all the sides, you can see from here. And here I've joined both sides. So I left a little space here, here, which I'm going to use to turn it inside out right here okay so i'll just um bring it out from here i'll turn it out from here bit by bit okay so i'll turn it out from here bit by bit so you can see it's red this is the side with uh, the extra um, lining okay okay so after um sewing it all round like i showed in previous video the next thing to do now is to make space for for the um the air loops that's where you're going to how you're going to be able to actually wear it remember i asked that we leave a space somewhere around here to actually help um, turning it in uh, inside out Okay, so that's why you can see this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron this, this part and this part to actually make it look like this side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in, fold it in two times, just like this. Um, putting a table to it, it shouldn't be... It shouldn't be very um, big I mean the the length so about um, half of an inch okay like that if you're using this type of table just from the beginning of the the very beginning of the table to the end of the the steel um, lid okay so just like that half of an inch so you are going to do that fold it in once and then fold it in again okay then you would tuck down this folded edge from here to here just tuck it down neatly and then you do the same thing to this side once um, this is ironed and stepped down taped down rather then you fold it once like that you measure it like i said earlier and then you fold it in again something like this all right, all right so i have just uh, finished tacking this down for the first side and i've also done the same thing for this other side Okay, so now I am using, I've just inserted my crochet needle, as you can see, my crochet needle. I'm taking it in, okay, and I will use it, I'll use this to um, insert the, the elastic air loops. 
this is about seven meters uh, seven centimeters long okay about seven centimeters long so i'm just going to insert it and then tie, tie a knot to it or i can actually join it together with um join it together with a needle and thread but i prefer to tie a knot or join it together either either one is okay and then i'll show you the finished work okay so i have my crochet needle this is what i use to insert this into the air loops um, of the face mask and i'm going to do the same thing for i'm going to do the same thing for this side of the face mask i'm going to insert it i'm going to insert it like this into this space put the other um, elastic band and then pull it out and then tie a knot or sew it together with the help of a needle and thread you can also see this other one i've not i'm um, sorry this other one i've not inserted it in yet it's about seven inches long okay so um this is how i joined my rubber and my elastic band together okay and i'm just pull it in like i've done here okay i pulled it in already and voila our face mask is ready our face mask is ready okay so if you have any questions if there's something that is not clear about this video on how to make your own face mask please drop the questions i'll be watching out for your answers